Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, folks. Welcome back. Sorry I was gone. I had a strike against my channel, so I couldn't upload videos for a week. It was, I believe, an unlawful strike. It was a video short taken down of two Sikh business owners putting, we'll call justice, on a robber. But meanwhile, many other YouTube channels, and I even gave them the link of the YouTube channel, it still has the exact same video up. They gave them a age restriction, and I got a strike. So that means for the next 90 days, the strike's hanging over my channel. It seems they're pulling out all the stops to try to stop this channel from growing, and I don't know why. Let's read on. From Timcast, Fox News executives reportedly pressed Trump to join upcoming primary debate. The network executives reportedly praised Trump's presence center stage. Oh, yeah, they're his buddy now. Why would he? I mean, in all fairness, he's 30, 40, 50 points ahead in some polls more. You've got everything to lose and nothing to gain. What would be the point of going into a casino to gamble if the best you could do is either lose money or break even? Why would you bother? Why is this any different? They did it to themselves. The former president reportedly had a private cordial, I like the, the parenthesis, quotation dinner with top Fox News president Jay Wallace, the other network's chief executive Susan Scott on Tuesday evening, according to three familiar people familiar with the event per the New York Times. The dinner was held prior to the former president's federal indictment at Trump's golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. Wallace and Scott reportedly appealed to Trump's insistence that he would not attend the upcoming Republican primary debate, which will be hosted by the outlet Fox on August 23rd in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Fox News executives also reportedly praised Trump's presence center stage. Yeah, they love him now. Why? Because their ratings are in the toilet. In the toilet. In fact, let's do the sound effect. This is Fox's ratings. Yeah. Make sure you flush it all down. It's amazing to me. All of a sudden now, they're praising him. Trump insisted he had not made his decision though he would keep an open mind about attending. He's not going to go, and why should he? Yes, I know. He has a large ego. Yes, I know he likes attention. I get all that. I'm still a Trump supporter, though, but I understand all those personality traits that he has. But why should he? He has absolutely nothing to gain. Zero to gain. Fox News host Sean Hannity was tentatively scheduled to attend the dinner, though was unable because the dinner conflicted with the show's 9 p.m. time slot on the network. Well, why would they schedule a dinner when Sean Hannity is supposed to be on the air live? Hmm. One of Trump's spokesmen, seven, Stephen Chung, reportedly declined to comment the dinner, saying, I don't discuss a private meeting, and rightfully so. Fox News spokesman Irina Brigatti also report, reportedly declined to comment on the dinner. Most recently, Trump suggested he will not attend the upcoming debate, posting to True Social. Let them debate so I can see who I might consider for vice president. <laughs> I, I got, you know what? Trump is the biggest troll in the history of social media. You got to love it. Uh, like when the, the anti-American, anti-patriot, I forget her name, Megan whatever, missed the penalty shot for the women's soccer team in the World Cup, thus eliminating them. With Sweden, it was her that missed. It was her that missed the goal that put them out of the World Cup, which they won the last three years in a row. You know what? Karma is a bitch. And Trump's response to her on True Social, nice shot, Megan. <laughs> in a June 26 True Social post, the former president commented on his polling in regards to attending the debate. So Fox News, which is down 37% of the ratings, I think it's more, doesn't cover my getting Man of the Decade award because of my great trade policies in Michigan or my keynote speech for faith and freedom in D.C. and then wants me to show up and get them ratings for their presidential debate when I'm leading the field by 40 points. Trump wrote the June 26 True Social post. All I do is promote against all hope Ron DeSanctimonious. Oh, I don't like that when he does that, but that's his personality. And he's dropping like a stone. Sorry, Fox News. Life doesn't work that way. 
Trump also commented on former presidential candidates not participating in debates during an interview with Fox News Sunday Morning Futures. You're leading people by 50, 60 points. You say you would, why would you do be doing a debate, he said. It's actually not fair. Why would you let anybody that's at zero or one or two or three points be popping up your, with you with questions? Yeah. Ronald Reagan didn't do it. A lot of other uh, people didn't do it. When you have a big lead, you don't do it. We have a lead of 50, 60 points in some cases, Trump said, per Politico. I haven't really made my mind yet. Well, he has. He has, because if he says he makes up his mind, they'll stop asking him. Not debating will get him more coverage and news coverage than debating. What happens if he flubs? What happens if, if, if Chris Christie or, or uh, Mike Pence, they get into it? it there's, no, there's absolutely zero positive outlook for a debate with Trump in it. Yes, he would be the center of attention. Yes, he would get most of the press. And those other ones would be drowned out. In fact, frankly, if I was the other candidates, I wouldn't want Trump there just because he's, he takes up all the oxygen in the room. Being a former president and his personality, you put those together, what do you expect? So there you have it, folks. Fox News executives reportedly pressed Trump to join the upcoming presidential debate. Wah, 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 wah. Again, sorry for me being away for so long. I got an unlawful strike. I wish I had the resources to get lawyers and do something legal, but unfortunately, I can't. They're doing everything in their power to keeping me from being monetized. Even the new program, which allows it, they put me on the back burner. I just, it's so discouraging. Sometimes I want to give up, and then sometimes I say, you know what, John? Can't let the SOBs beat you. Until next time, God bless, goodbye, and good luck. Mm -hmm.